Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we get a new book from Casemate UK. It's part of their illustrated series but this is not a simple, it's a special book because it comes in a hardcover and it is fully dedicated to British fighter aircraft in World War I. So you can see that it's written by Mark Wilkins and it will cover design, constructions and innovation for this type of aircraft, for this era of aircraft. And this is a relatively fresh release, it should be already available and that's why I decided to get it and check what is actually printed, why it should be handy for aviation modelers, no matter which scale you'll pick, still I guess this book will be handy and that's what we'll try to check today in this video. So first of all again I will repeat myself it's a hardcover but as you can see my post tried to bend it into two halves but book somehow survived so I guess the main information is still intact but it's a pity that postal offices do not care about our packages. Nevertheless um, Casemate UK promises that there should be 192 pages inside, so we are going to open it right now and check what is actually uh, supplied on these pages. So, uh, we get these glossy papers, which is really cool, it feels, uh, I would say, more expensive and it should be more durable as well. So, here we go on with the contents page and I can zoom in so that you can see what is actually written here. So, we have several chapters, we have also two appendixes, notes and bibliography with index at the end. And as far as you can see, we have a separation according to various manufacturers. So, it's also quite an interesting, I would say, design of this book. We also have acknowledgments note here and we go on with development history for one of the manufacturers and what is quite interesting why I'm a bit confused because here we have various ads for this manufacturers for this aircraft producers. Here we go on also with some drawings. These are actually original drawings and it is quite interesting to see them included here. As you can see cover photos show a real aircraft in flight. We also have some production photos and of course all this stuff will be handy for some fine detailing. So in case you are searching for uh, let's say something to add to your model and again I will repeat myself that it doesn't matter which scale you will pick. Even in the small scale you might find something to copy uh, from these drawings and from these pictures. Also it is interesting to see how replicas are assembled because they are all usually assembled by following the original procedures so that's why it also might be handy for your build. Maybe you would like to do a stripped down version of this aircraft again it will be useful. So we are already on page number 80, here we go on with the famous DH-2 with propeller in the rear side, so this aircraft is produced in several scales by different manufacturers and I think it won't be a problem to find a suitable model. Here we continue with another triplane and it comes from Avro obviously, quite a huge aircraft, I'm, frankly speaking I am not sure if uh, the aircraft was produced by Wingnut Minks because in 130 second scale it would be huge so feel free to write in the comment section if you know it. Here we continue with the uh, Sopfit Aviation Company and this is also quite interesting especially considering that uh, Edward plans to bring uh, their own camel model in 148 scale so it will be interesting what will be copied there and this book might be handy so we go on with the pup here we go on with the side profile obviously there are not all let's say marking options included but as you can see even sub with triplane is included here which is also quite unusual aircraft on par with the Fokker DR1 here we go on with the famous camel as I said before and a really like amount of photos on each page, as you can see layout is quite clear and easy to comprehend so you won't be confused where photo goes for this or different aircraft. We also have Hispanus user engine, some drawings for the aircraft and we are already on the page 180. So here you can see some notes and that's pretty much all. So 192 pages and just as 
publisher promise it and price should be set around 35 British pounds which is quite reasonable for such book because here you get information about different aircraft it's not focused on only one manufacturer so it might be also useful for modelers who would like to learn more about World War One aircraft and it should be already available you can get it on official Casemate UK website of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye